Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's presentation. <coughs> Once upon a time, there lived a old man. While he was dying, they asked him a question. <coughs> Sir, you are dying. What is your age? The dying old man said, "I lived for three hundred years." No, sir, your date of birth certificate says that uh, you only lived for hundred uh, years only. No, no. I imagine the troubles in every day when I was dreaming that I almost lived three times of life with the imagined uh, suffering. So all these days we had been imagining how will be neat, when will be neat, what kind of neat it will be. Ultimately, more than the suffering, the actual neat is more easier than what we have imagined. Two hundred and forty straight simple questions. <clears throat> no images, no assertion reasons, no case studies, no clinical management questions. It is like any other state entrance with another forty questions added. Now it is a test of speed. How well are those uh, red-fibred muscles with mitochondria are functional, rather than the slow muscles? Is all the challenge about uh, the next gen NEET two thousand twelve? So, doc, what is the subject-wise distribution? We have the anatomy twenty, physiology twenty, biochem twenty. Have you ever imagined when you open a question paper, twenty questions about uh, upper limb muscles, lower limb muscles, this vessel, that vessel, lymph nodes, etc.? No, it is an insignificant subject in the state entrance exam with only five questions, except few states like Orissa, where they have three hundred questions. They are habituated to. Twenty questions in uh, anatomy. <clears throat> Not the students in AP. Those who regularly take All India exam, yes, they too have a habit of facing upper limb, lower limb muscles, truncal muscles, back muscles, rhomboidus major. Everything they need to read. There's only main difference. And everybody used to say, "I am very good in Harrison." But all those Harrisonians will have a disappointment because twenty questions only in general medicine, twenty-one. So that is the reason read Harrison only as much as you read Chaurasia, or you have another option: read Chaurasia like you read Harrison. So the second thing also will help you. Then physiology, biochem. I think you know the distribution of the marks. And all our next fifteen meet grantes conducted bi-weekly, Sunday and Wednesday, and online they will be available for uh, three days. We float one new exam which we discuss on Wednesday evening on Monday morning online, and everyone will get a free account of online. Please take your username, password, and then get the feeling of how the test. Actual test looks like, and how are you scoring? And let me tell you, in this mock test we are going to have in the next uh, <clears throat> eight weeks, if you can make at least one eighty to one ninety out of two forty, it can be called as a decent score. Decent score, I can say, the three bit score, like the USMLE step one and step two, your three bit score. If it is 180 to 190 out of 240, I can call it as a decent score. Strive for uh, achieving that. So let's make the start. <clears throat> We welcome all of our online students from Sikandarabad, Vijayawada, Warangal Centre. Now, individual student from the home itself, they can access. We will also give you a username, password for accessing the video library also for the next three months. You have uh, nearly around. 250 hours of uh, MCQ based video discussion, topic wise in every subject. Even you can access even that content also 
using a username password which we will give to you demand your uh, center manager to give you the username password otherwise call the helpline you will get the username password but take practice of the online test and also if you can't travel if time is a constraint access it from the home so let's make the great start absence of mano 6 phosphate is responsible for eye cell disease what is meant by eye cell disease doctor every protein will be tagged so that it gets an address where it has to reach like a postcard so mano 6 phosphate when it is tagged to a protein which is produced in ribosomes the tagging will take it to the lysosome so absence of this mano 6 phosphate will not let the protein reach the lysosome which lead to immunocompromised state which is basically called eye cell disease is what need to be remembered in hyaline cartilage you have type 3 collagen sorry type 2 collagen type 3 is in the liver type 4 is in the basement membrane <coughs> there is carbonic anhydrase out of all these cells it is the osteoclast which need to produce the acid in order to resorb the bone typically they have the <coughs> uh, carbonic anhydrase which will help them to produce carbonic acid which is broken down and H plus is released and released H plus is used for the dissolution of the bone so that is the reason osteoclast have it coming to parathormone typically parathormone receptors are missing on osteoclast the stimulation of the osteoblast by the parathormone will cause the release of the rank L protein and osteoprotegerin is the one which leads to the activation of the osteoclastic activity which is all true now uh, uh, I leave to you in the literature what is rank L protein etc etc <coughs> now what is osteoprotegerin it is the one which will bind with the rank L protein and it leads to the inhibition of the osteoclastic activity is what you are going to ultimately remember let me wake you up from the sleep doctor which substance inhibits the osteoblastic activity if you happen to give it to the children what is your answer shoot a spot answer examination is all about the single lines now yes one confident answer anybody which substance here is known to inhibit the osteoblastic activity if you give it to the children parathormone we get one answer parathormone in Nampali Anantapur students are very much ready for NEET 2012 they should the answer as corticosteroids which is correct not the thyroxine as answered by our Vizac students or Vijayawada. One more question. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, with regard to the retina, <coughs> fovea is the point which is the sharpest visual activity containing point. Light typically causes a decrease of the cyclic GMP <clears throat> and it lead to hyperpolarization not depolarization of the photoreceptor cell and typically it causes the closure not the opening of the sodium channels on the rod cells so each of the option is created just to target you that whether you know the light cycle or not in the rod cells now doctor pain temperature and tactile sensations how are they transmitted basically <coughs> it is the unmyelinated fibers which will ultimately reach the ventroposterolateral nucleus of the thalamus is the pain pathway 
which is transmitted by spinothalamic tract and it is the contralateral side not ipsilateral side where there is a loss of pain in temperature is what need to be remembered cerebellar dysfunction leads to hypotonia typically how will be hypotonia it will be ipsilateral if my right cerebellum is gone my right side body will show a decrease of the tone is what need to be remembered <coughs> now you shoot me an answer doctor cerebellar lesions will lead to all the features except which one out of this ah, right so easy shooters will be there even in the dnb uh, not dnb exam what is it called neat pg exam also be very sure what is the challenge for the examiner he need to create every day two sets of 240 questions and totally 10 days no, not 10 days how many days 14 days just like uh, <clears throat> have you seen uh, mahabharat serial so one day karna is dead other day drona is dead another day duryodhan is dead like that 14 days you have a war every day 500 questions into 14 days means examiner need to create 7000 questions and put it in a question bank and our guys are very smart if the moment they come out they will put on a blog all the questions asked for that uh, day earlier days what we used to do the recalled questions we used to discuss now what we should do the recalled questions will not be asked so other than that you read anything else so that is the whole point suppose first day find the questions are recalled and posted by our uh, elder brothers so a younger brother can uh, need not read those find the questions and try anything else so the last day exam taking guy has a privilege he has all that leftover questions in the question bank and definitely they will be easier so don't try for the first day better try the last day slot i mean on a lighter vein huh? so doctor even our online students agree by saying pill rolling tremor the muscles of the lower face typically are only represented by the contralateral motor cortex whereas the muscles of the upper face are represented by both sides uh, fibers of the motor cortex who supplies upper face muscles doctor facial muscle facial nerve facial nerve originates from pons 567 pons third fourth is midbrain eighth ninth tenth everything cranial nerve nuclear are there in the medulla <coughs> 